So most of these different models will allow you to add noise and recover detail. So let's go with add noise. So what add noise does is it adds a little bit of particulates. It's very subtle, but what this does is it breaks up something that's a little bit too smooth. Another thing is, is say you have a big gradient and you have what's called banding and you see like the little lines that separates the, the colors a little bit. What noise does is it helps break that up just a little bit so it doesn't feel so cut and hard edge when it comes to those gradients. That is also a trick we do in the VFX when we add a little bit of grain to do essentially the same thing. Just add a little noise or a little grain to break up the image a little bit so you don't get all those different bandings. Recover detail. Now this is essentially a threshold um, about bringing details from source. This is not a mix, so it may seem a little confusing. This is not a mix of bringing your original source 100% back. What this does is looking for details to try to bring back. I look at this more as how aggressive do I want to bring certain details back? Because it's not going to be when you go to zero, it doesn't mean it fully removes your source. And when you go to 100%, it's not 100% bringing it back either. Personally, I tend to keep this at zero because I there's a small chance that you might bring in some of the undesired artifacts, a little bit of compression that it might pick up as a detail. But if you are getting a loss of detail, that's when it's good to start bringing the threshold up a little bit to add some of those details. Focus fix can assist on shots. If your video is just a little off, let me use an example for focus fix. Okay, so I'm gonna use this clip as an example for focus fix. Um, right now it's at off. You can see that the crustacean is just a little out of focus. So I'm gonna switch this to normal, see what we get out of that. I'm gonna render for one second. And you can see that it tried to sharpen this area compare before after as it's trying to locate where to sharpen the crustacean that's not too bad at the first go and if i go to strong it might be a little too much the strong is just way too much it probably be better if it was somewhere just a little bit closer it looks like here it was trying to work uh, so normal was the better route for this you can see it started bringing some of these details uh, which was lost before Okay, so that's where this could be useful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the original source. Grain, pretty straightforward. Click this to apply grain. It's gonna show you a certain amount and a certain size. So amount is how dense you want the grain to be. And then the size is the actual scale of the grain particulates itself. One second here to see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see that what it looks like and then we'll go a little more extreme. So let's bring the grain amount to 10 and we'll do the size to 3. This way it's really obvious to kind of see what it's doing. So now you have a very dense grain and the scale is much larger. Okay, 